hate it when you got it out the mud, yeah. Ran it up, yeah. Really don't get no fuck, yeah. Don't get no fuck when you turn nothing or something, yeah. Really hustling, yeah. Y'all can get that money, yeah. You get that money, yeah. Rags to riches, 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 rags to riches. Rags the riches. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. I'm pretty sure y'all already know. And this is my battle buddy. Okay, so y'all, today I'm gonna be doing 10 things I wish I would have known before I joined doing. First and foremost, I wish I would have been in shape. Been in more in shape. Like I still to this day cannot do a good push-up. Like whenever my platoon come out or my little, I'll be like, y'all, please get right, because I cannot do push-ups. They already know. Jones can't do push-ups, like she, okay. she told us after the I like, another thing would be get to know more about your job like your mos before you join like me personally i didn't really know much about my mos i just knew i was going to be a 25 lima and as i went to basic i would just ask my dress sergeant is this a good job what kind of job is even though it's too late like once you sign in swear and go to basic like that's your job like you could change it later down the line but that's your job another thing i wish i would have known is go to sitcom like <laughs> she's lying go don't, to sick call depending on the situation go to sick call because i'm not like my um dress just made me feel like if you go to sick call you're the weakest just most horrible individual in the world like he would even have counselors waiting like here's the sick call list and here's your counseling like they would be by each other like and i used to be so scared to go to sick call like my knee was hurting so bad and i didn't go to sick call Look, you're talking to a person who skipped sitcom after the forge. I fucked up my ankle on the fucking way there. The, the forge on the way back, I was just like, sitcom, sitcom, where are you? That's just all I was saying on the way back from the forge. Like, I'm going to sitcom. Like. Oh, just to warn you, the reason why we say don't go to sitcom is because, like, you will get profiled, right? So when you get profiled, that can hinder you from a lot of shit. Like, I had a battle buddy who got profiled, and baby girl didn't graduate. And I love yes. her to death. Like, they kicked her ass out as soon as possible, as soon as they found that shit out. And, yeah, like, if, you get, if you're on profile, like, I had a hunger. She got quarantined. She missed the forge. Like, yeah, she didn't graduate. Okay, so oh, and the terminology of the forge, that's the big one, like, for us to graduate. Yes, like, I told y'all in the other video that the two mile, that, the one that had me rethinking about life, <laughs> that one. Another thing you should know is know your like know your stuff like your creed your army base before you get there because they're gonna be fucking with you like like i said you could be like in the lunch line you damn near number three and they're like shit soldier's creed and you like oh shit and it's harder when you're under pressure yeah when a drill sergeant is standing like right there you're gonna forget everything you're gonna forget everything <laughs> you're, Facts. you're nervous like Especially you're on the front you're line if you, if you, even if you know about her you're gonna forget it and your Facts. battle buddies is standing there like please get it right Yes, because you if you fuck up, everybody fuck up. Excuse my language, but let's just let you know. You fuck up, everybody fuck up. Yes, know your stuff before you get there. Like, kind of learn, like, your ranks, all of that. Because mm -hmm. your first test, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I failed my red face test. No. I failed the fuck out my red Hell face no. test. Hell no. Shit's easy as fuck if you, like, she's right, though. I studied my shit before I left. I learned the ranks, the creed, and what is the army song? Yep. Learn those army songs. Hang on. But yes, the army of the free learn language. those ranks because you're gonna need to know that shit. Facts and have confidence when you say it because they really they'll they'll play with you if you don't know your confidence. Like another yeah. thing is get used to being disciplined. Disciplined. Get used to being doing things in a timely fashion. Like everything is gonna be in order in the military. Like you need to have some type of etiquette about yourself and. Like your demeanor and how you approach yourself will take you a long way. Cause you make could be the most fucked up out, out of your platoon. If you come down to formation and your shit is together, the drill sergeants only know what you reveal to them. So another thing would be, I would say personally, I feel like never show the drill sergeants your real personality. Like always been like your military man. Okay, yeah, that's different for <laughs> me. I can't turn my personality off, so I used to get in trouble. Like, she's right. You might want to turn your personality off, but I used to get in trouble for just being bubbly. Like, I'm hyper as fuck. Can't help that shit, so I And the dress up do things on purpose, like, damn, Trini, your tape line fucked up. And then you laugh. Why the fuck? What the fuck y'all laughing at? You like, oh my God. Like, you know that was funny. Like, you know I was going to laugh. I'm a human. Like, but it's going to be hard. You have some dress sons that crack a joke with you, joke around, and you got some just 
all about their job. Don't crack Wait a smile. After Put your fucking teeth away. That's what my just always tell me. Put your fucking teeth away, Jones. Why do I see your teeth? Like, Drew Sergeant, you just said the funniest thing ever. Like, but I kind of, they kind of knew me, kind of did. Yes. Y'all know, it's a new PT test, the ACFT. And in my platoon, no one really got recycled for a lead tuck. But I'm hearing that they are recycling people for a lead tuck. So I would say focus on your upper body strength. You're going to run down there every other day. So your running will come, I feel like, personally. But your strength, in just like those eight to nine weeks, you you need to start working out before you go. Like that was another thing. I was going hitting the treadmill or whatever. But I, I just wasn't working on my upper body strength. And... I couldn't do a lead tub, but I didn't get re I didn't get recycled. Like they would give you a waiver, but depending on like how many people and how close you are and how many how long you can hang, some people don't get waivers. And I would hate for you to get recycled over a lead tub. Like it's just not worth it. Like, yeah, it's different for different. What I want to say, companies. Yeah, different yeah, companies. Cause I was Echo and she was Alpha. Like for us, they waived a lot of issues. Like just not to put it out there, but they waived. Mm -hmm. Another thing I would say is get used to drinking water. Out of a camel bag. You want to show them what a camel bag? Show them the camel. I hate water. Like I know this sounds weird. I hate water. This is the shit. This is a camel bag. Where's Keep it full. You will get your ass smoked for this man flex. And it's a little trick they have. If your camel bag is full, you take the top off and you blow in it, and it blows it up like it's something. Like that. Cause they, but sometimes some drinks start in minds. They ain't have nothing to do. They will walk by and just shake you. Why the fuck is your camel bag empty? Like, I was even gave us a bead of strings, and every day we had to push the strings up to show that we've been drinking. Get used to drinking water. You, even if they give you juice during child, your cup is literally like this big. Like, one gulp is gone. Did you tell them where the water come, where we getting the water from? It ain't no purified water now. It's coming. No water bottles. <laughs> it's coming out the hose. Like, the holes of the sink. <laughs> yeah. It's really like now I'm in AIT and they told me to fill my camel back up with okay, the water out the bedroom. We don't drink out that shit. Guaranteed. We don't. Like, I'm waiting to go to the PS now just to get water bottles. Like, out of the laundry room. Another thing I would say if you're a picky eater, get over it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I ate tuna for three weeks straight. And we had this thing called Jimmy Dean's, y'all. I. <laughs> Yeah, I want to apologize to my mama because when she cooks tuna at home, I'd be like, Mom, <laughs> oh, nah, not today. I ain't eating no tuna today. Like, it just ain't it. Like, I'm going to go get something to eat. If it ain't the Jimmy Dean's, it's the MRE. Like, yes. And I showed y'all what an MRE look like. Like, if you're a picky eater, it's to the point I said I'm eating to live, not even for taste. I'm just eating so my stomach don't be waking me up in the middle of the night. Did you know how to like, heat that? Oh, heat if you can heat it up. See, I always didn't let us. I still don't be like me. I tell you, I don't be like me. I used to take the water out of my camera bag, pour it into my heater, and I used to um put my entree in there and then stick it back in my MRE, let it boil up while I eat everything else, and then come eat my entree last. Yes. And I was told us the heaters, you're never going to use them. No, you're not gonna probably use them, but we well, use them. Some companies, <laughs> like I met this girl at Sitcom, she was like, "Girl, you ain't never used the heater." And I was like, "Can you show me?" Like my dress, I can tell us we wasn't using the, the heater. Point blank, period. It's a waste of time sometimes, no, but it's, it's good. good. Another it's thing good. is, females, um, if you're gonna cut your hair before you go to basic, I advise you not because the regulations of how your hair should be and the lengthwise is so confusing. Like, I feel like if you don't have good hair that looks presentable when it curls up and it's short don't cut your hair um don't look at my hair because this is out of regulation See, these look curly too this is out of regulation I'm okay you. yes y'all um learn how to do your bun um perfect example <laughs> Like sock a bun. military sock bun. Like my dress sergeant did a one on one with the lady. She took us, cut a sock, and showed us how to make one out of a sock. Or you could come with you a donut maker. This is a donut maker. Donut yeah. maker. Yeah. Looks like this. It's cute. There you go, Holly. This is my battle buddy. <laughs> Be sure you know how to do a bun. Because I'm telling you, I had this one in the battle. Her hair was like here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and her hair used to stick out just a little piece. Trying to fix your fucking hair, like. But you oh saying my, my hair is long? I don't give a fuck. Fix your hair, like. And another thing is, don't you can't be cute in no type of way. Like I tried to do a braid, to a, they didn't want that. If it's gonna be braided, all of it has to be braided, and your bun got to be braided. Like, what do you do a simple like slip back. Like I tried to do like two braids on the sides into a ponytail into the. Oh, bun. I had them. I was one going for it. They be like, I know you're trying to be cute, but no. This is the words of Joe Sarge. I'm pretty sure she heard the same shit too. You are not here to be cute. Everybody's busted. Everybody's busted. ugly. Don't like, care how bad you I'm want to I'm going to show y'all how I look. I was 
Yeah, There's pictures on Facebook. We all look busted. <laughs> Real shit. Okay, another thing is when you a thing I would have known. I wish I would have known was people gonna steal. You would think we in the army. No, baby. If I'm missing a canteen and you leave your canteen, they're gonna take your canteen. Like because at the end you have to pay for things that's not that's not accounted for. Like they they issue you a bunch of stuff and they give you a list. Like y'all gonna hear you gonna go to CIF. They're gonna issue some things. When you come back, they want everything that's on that list. And I don't know why or how people lose their stuff. Like on the forge, on the rugs, they lose stuff. People will steal. Be yeah, sure to be responsible. Be accountable for all your things. Like. Well, hey. The army will charge you the full price. This this jacket or wet weather bottom could be passed on from 30 years ago. When you get when it gets to you and you lose it, you're paying the original price for it. No matter what the condition or whatever it was. So be sure to be accountable and keep up with your belongings. I wish I would have known is the different routes. Like all I really knew was you go, you enlist, and you just you go to the army. Like, I didn't know about the officer routes. I didn't know about that. Like you could go to school first. Like just do your research about it. Like you go to school, do your four years, do be an ROTC. I heard that you could actually skip basic and just go straight to officer candidate school. Like it's different ways around it, but just be sure you know like what you actually getting yourself into because a bunch of like I had a battle. She came and her first day of yelling, yeah, she was like, "This time for me." I'm like girl, you must think. Baby, I YouTube about the on by basic training so many times. It pops up in my safari. Siri be like, basic training? Like, no, Siri. That's not what I said. Like, I've YouTubed it so much. Like, oh. We all did that shit. Our whole company, real shit, we all YouTube. Just to let you know, basic training is not what it seems on these videos, okay? There's some shit that just be happening. Just like, I can happen. show y'all my hands. Like, I was on the pull-up bar so much, I have calluses. Like... <laughs> And then we got evicted, right? We got evicted because we had country band and running up the steps. I mean, evicted is like you got two minutes to get all your shit out the lockers and be downstairs with your right, with your weapon. Don't leave your weapon. So I had to keep my weapon, and it fell, and I busted my hand open. So my hand is just like really recovering. Like I look like my hands look like man hands. Like I've been a mechanic for a few years. That's what my hands look like <laughs> right now. Yeah. Another thing I would say is. Say be sure to, okay i'll tell y'all be sure to read your contract and ask for sign on bonuses like everyone around me got sign on bonuses and i'm i'm hot i didn't get a sign on bonus and we got the same mos yeah so another thing last but not least your experience is all dependent on you if you're just like always late you're an asshole you don't want nobody to tell you what to do then basic training gonna be hell for you because one thing about it if like you're an asshole, people gonna learn. Your whole company gonna start to know, like, oh yeah, Jones the asshole. That bitch always late. Like whenever we tell her to do something, she got a, she got an attitude. So now you walking out like, why is four person looking at me like that? Like, cause they know you the asshole of the company. Or another good note, you can be cool to everybody, you know, take corrective, you know, take constructive. How do what's the word I'm looking for? Know how to criticism. take criticism. Yeah. Well, know how to criticism. take criticism. Yeah. So no, like if someone tell you to do something, it's not personal. Don't. That's one thing. Do not say nothing personal. Like the drill sergeant, it's their job to be all in your it's face. It's their job to yell. I don't know how they do. It. I can't yell at nobody for a living. Like, I want to do it. <laughs> it's not in me. Like I can't be mad for no reason. I can like, do that. They don't even want you. Like it was to the point. It took me a while to understand. You can't even say no, ma'am and yes, ma'am. Like it's respect, but it's civilian. Yes, drill sergeant. No drill sergeant. Yes, drill sergeant. No drill sergeant. Do not call them by their name. I don't care what happened. Like, get fucked up. Don't call them out their name. They will swear down you just disrespecting them and telling them they mama was a, Like, they they will smoke the hell out of you just for saying, just like this The fuck you call me? Do I look like your home girl? I was like, oh my God. Like, I'm sorry. But yes, yeah, like, make friends. Don't be bougie. Like, I'm not gonna lie. My first week there, it took me a while to get comfortable with people. I was just like, I wasn't saying nothing about I was kind of scoping out the scene, you know. And, excuse me, depending on the time you go, like, if you go, like, around May. The best time is to come when it's, like, going into winter to summer. That's what we did. Yeah, if you go around May or June, you went with the high schools. So, you don't get smoked a lot. I went around the time, it was really like people who, you know, went to college, decided it wasn't for them, or, you know, just coming to get the benefits. Like, I went on a lot of grown-ups, which was on a good note was good, but you'll be surprised how some grown-ups, just like us, like, they don't want to listen. 
He be like, man, you got kids. Who's gonna keep yelling at you? And another thing is, be on your shit. You get promoted. I need you to get promoted for just being you. You know, you move up, you get your leadership skills, and when you get AIT, you like, damn, this shit ain't there. So if you got, if you want to decide you want to go to school first, that's fine too. You know, even if you just go for one year, or two years, like the more credits, the higher your rank could be. You look good there. too. Yeah, and you know you'll be used to it. They'll put you up first for these skills. They feel like you know you got that drive. Yeah, and you know that's pretty much it. I don't really know anything else. Get in shape, stay in shape. Don't have no battle boo. <laughs> that's what you <laughs> be doing. Don't, don't get no battle, battle boo. boo. You know, battle boo. You be dying at the pull up bar and shit. And the dress are just gonna peak. Like, if you always want to be with this one person, like I don't care. I had a battle buddy. They had it. They had it good because. She was a female and her battle boo was a female. So she would just be like, hey, y'all, watch out. Like, they had a bunk in the back. Like, they was the. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. It, shit happens. Bro. That was my dog, but she had it smooth. Because, like, and in the middle of the night, it's like, Drew started to come in and check your bag. I don't know how they did it. They never got caught. This is all I can say. Like, but don't get no battle boo. Believe it or not, you probably not gonna even see that person at the base of training. They're gonna go to Texas. You're gonna go to Fort Gordon. You're going to be in your feelings for about a week. Then you're going to find you somebody else. And then it's going to happen again at AIT. <laughs> That's your all. I'm not telling you, you know, don't talk to nobody. You know, do what floats your boat, but keep your feelings out of it. The army, you up and moving too much to even have love for anybody. Y'all, I even told myself I was just going to go buy a marriage ring, put it on my finger so no one would talk to me. Like, don't believe it. <laughs> it don't work. It don't work. It don't work. It would still be at your neck. It's, it's a different type of hoop in a holler, swear. Like, from home. Yes. But thanks for watching, you guys. And y'all should also go watch my last video about things you should and should not bring. Um, I'm going to drop her information below if y'all want to contact with her if y'all think she's cute. But don't, don't do that. Don't. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I feel like y'all should tap the bell so y'all know when I post a video, you know, so you'll be alert. Like, you'll be ready. When you go to basic training, you're going to be like, yes, you're signing up. Especially if you go to Fort Jackson, we're going to have you straight. If you go to Fort Jackson, you good. Fort Jackson, it's called Latson Jackson, I swear. It's, it is, but it ain't. <laughs> it's all right. Compared to the other ones, you'll be good. You'll be fine. Right place, right time, right uniform, and stay on your shit. Know your shit. It's, that's one thing. Like, if you know your shit, that's nothing they can take away from you. If you know your stuff, you they, no one can ever take your knowledge. They can take anything else that they can't take your knowledge. So if you know your shit, you're good. Know you be behind me if it ever came to this